Hi everyone, hi your spirit, Daddy here. I wish you are enjoying your day. I wish you are enjoying your individuality, your creativity and your experience. May you be creating and fortifying your best imagination of yourself right here, right now. And that may your wishes and dreams, highest visions of yourself, most expanded visions and wisest visions of yourself come true and that you feel uh, fulfilled in this moment right now. So today I want to talk about letting go and uh, growing, detaching from certain aspects that we may have been attached to or may have been using without being consciously aware of it, right? So because many times what uh, many fears and if you are watching this, you might already know that through our lifetime here right now, we may be born onto certain families, certain environments that do not benefit our best interest, that do not benefit or uh, give the space for us to grow as in real unique individuals, for us to express, believe in ourselves and all those things. Many times we may come into a family where we are mostly um, uh, dealt with and... Uh, enforced to not believe in our um, imaginations, not believe in, in our capabilities, in our abilities, think that we have something wrong with us, simply because of the projections of the people that have been in our environment growing us. Because as children, we are subconscious by nature. We uh, usually use more the subconscious natures for us to... Uh, understand and understand the conscious realm, right? And many times when we come into this world, we may come onto a family where people are not um, consciously aware of their own subconscious nature. So even if they are adults, they might be doing many things through the subconscious, uh, having wrong subconscious ideals, uh, wrong subconscious patterns and thought forms and feelings about themselves that maybe consciously they think they want to have all that money, have that old prosperity, have everything organized, but subconsciously they are always reproducing the uh, feelings or thoughts of scarcity, of not being good enough or not, uh, you know, knowing how to do something or not wanting to do something because they are too old. So many things that can be going through people's minds that what we want to do if we are consciously aware right now if you are watching this video you are aware that there might be certain things that you are not um you you never identified yourself with but for some reason uh i mean you did but not consciously because if you consciously did it um there might have been some subconscious pattern that was already there saying you are not good enough, which was also internalized by us as children, maybe, for example, it might be even later, but usually it starts from childhood because that's when we absorb things uh, without, uh, without thinking about it or without having judgment about it. Because as children, we are very subconscious, as I said, and being subconscious is being more on the feminine side, on your internal side. You have a more, uh, you are more of a sponge. You are more of a um, receptor for the universe to give you all of that good stuff. And many, uh, not many times, but sometimes it can happen that we are absorbing and uh, internalizing things uh, that are projections from some dissociations, some misunderstandings with other people, and we may absorb that because of the attitudes of the people that we may see as grown up, as knowing better, but even they do not know better, okay? That's the reality of this world, is that the majority of people do not know better, okay? Uh, they, they might seem like they know better, but they are repeating subconscious patterns that were also uh, transferred to them as children or as growing up. They just continued picking up things because of those subconscious patterns that were instilled when 
they were children, when we were children. There might have been some thought patterns like, you are not good enough, you cannot go outside because you can't take care of yourself alone. And all of those things, the um, usually are repeated, right? Like the par parents, you as a child, you cannot, you, you, you don't usually are able to speak that clearly as you speak right now, right? You can't speak as clearly as your parents can speak, right? Um, and so there will not be uh, like an ability for you to, you know, change them in a sense or be like, no, you can't do this. Uh, usually that doesn't happen because parents that are in their subconscious patterns of thinking that they are not good enough, that there is something wrong, inherently wrong with them, will be uh, projecting that onto you. And you have to be aware enough right now to understand that many of those things uh, are in your subconscious. You subconsciously might, might think that you are not good enough, you are scarce, you can't bring certain things onto reality. And that is not it's simply not true because if you are able to change your uh, reality right now, if you are able to imagine yourself in a better position, in a better circumstance right now, if you can imagine or even feel how it would be, how would it feel if I was in the best space for me right now, you can feel that, you can imagine, you just have to be uh, give yourself the space and, uh, you know, the space and the state for you to be in okay and so mainly we want to detach from those subconscious patterns that uh, were instilled onto us because those are like the um, the gears or the little baskets uh, that you uh, have to collect more of that information, right? So we want to get rid, we want to let go of those little baskets that we have on our subcon in our subconscious mind, uh, remove those ideas from our mind, remove those feelings from our subconscious mind to be able to um, absorb and create baskets of fulfillment, create baskets of uh, security, create baskets of, I know how to do it, I will do it, I know I can do it, I know I am successful, I know I am able, right? And that is the baskets that we want to create. So, to let go of something, or first, if you get attached to something, it can come through, it can come through repetition, right? As I said, uh, your parents might have repeated to you, we don't have money, you you can't make your money or you you are you have something inherently wrong with you and things like that. That has been repetition, that has been shame, that has been those feelings and attitudes of uh, ungratefulness, shame, um, bring some fear factor or even a high when when something happens in a high intensity or when you feel a certain way in a high intensity even if it's something that you uh, especially when you you were a child right you feel something in in a high intensity you might get um, you might attach that experience or that feeling um in, onto your subconscious so you want to uh, bring it out right you want to get rid let go of those subconscious patterns what you have to do what you gotta do is whenever you are um, you know going through your life when you are communicating with people when you are going outside when you are expressing yourself when you are doing something and you and a certain thought pops up or a certain feeling you start to feel a little weird or something that doesn't correspond with your highest vision of yourself right because we want to be aware and we want to uh, continue propagating our best imagination and vision of what we want to do, of what we want to be, of what we are already and how, what, um, in, in what areas of our life or in what uh, areas of life we want to be successful in uh, and we want to have that in mind as we go through this process of letting go. Because as you let go, 
uh, as you as those patterns start to appear, you feel weird or there is you you are afraid of not having enough money or you are afraid of not having enough something or you are afraid just afraid for example you you might be just afraid and you're like why am i afraid right where does that fear comes from so that is the main thing that you want to look for or be um uh, open-minded about is when those feelings come up you have to be aware you have to take a step back and you have to um, pay attention to that feeling in order for you to discover what type of uh, thoughts that continue propagating that because as you feel a certain way or as you think a certain way you are going to be feeling a certain way and that little correlation or that little um, chemistry between how you feel and what you think is the main thing that keeps it going right is uh, you continuously paying attention or you continuously giving your attention to a certain feeling or thought that subconsciously you do not uh, fully understand. So there may be a fear factor. You are afraid of uh, you are afraid of letting go. You are afraid of letting go of that fear. Why? Because whenever you have that fear, or you are afraid to let go uh, of something, because whatever you have experienced before it may have been traumatic it may have been uh an easy it may have been something that you have a very strong uh, memory or feeling about and you may be continuously uh, continuously being afraid of it you are continuously uh, not wanting to let go of that idea of not having money because you you think that that is going to be helping you not uh, be poor or not um, be uh, a certain way or not re-experience that experience again. But in reality, that is what is bringing the experience again. In reality, that fear or you continuously reacting to that or not wanting to uh, consciously bring that or not wanting to bring that to your conscious awareness from your subconscious what has been instilled onto your subconscious from the conscious now you want to bring that back right that is the re what that is why uh, that's how you let go you want to bring that back from the subconscious onto the conscious and be able to let it go or you 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 bring something to the conscious as you pay attention to it. And so you want to bring that back from the subconscious and pay attention to it. Inform yourself of why am I afraid, right? I am, you, you might be, uh, you might then see, right? You you have to give yourself space. You, you, get, you get to know it and you get to see why are you afraid. You, uh, you may see, I am afraid because uh in the past that happened so by you continuously bringing that fear of what already happened you bringing that fear back up or paying more attention to it continuing talking to that you by you bringing more attention you are bringing more feelings onto it and it can be uh, more detrimental to you it can happen again in a more intense state because you are afraid of letting go of it you are afraid of letting go of that uh, fear factor because you you may think that that is uh, preventing you from experiencing that um, experience again but the reality of it as i said is you if you continue paying attention to that feeling without consciously being aware of the reality of it you are con you are reproducing you are bringing back or you are paying attention to your past and bringing it to the to the present or to your future because uh you are you you uh, because by by paying attention 
to a certain feeling or giving it a certain reason, identifying yourself with it is what brings it back forth and uh, may seem that you are not moving from the past because you are bringing it back, back again. And the reality of it is you don't need to bring it to the to your reality what you can do is bring the, is is do that internally and let go of it internally because if you don't that reproduces itself in the reality in the uh, 3d and you will have to deal with it in 3d in reality that may happen again maybe not in the same way but the feeling is the same and you will have to deal with it again. So that's first and mainly why we want to let go of certain things and how you let go of it, right? You bring that to your conscious awareness, right? You, you okay, I'm, I'm feeling weird. This is not how I want to feel in my future and in my present. You bring that forth and you analyze because if you are afraid, you don't know something, right? So you want to know it. You want to know why and you want to let it go, right? And as you um, as you pay attention to that without judging, without conversating, without, oh, no, you shouldn't do this on that and that and a third, you should first see that from within and be able to let it go without no extra giving it energy because the more energy you give to it the more it becomes um the the bigger it becomes right the, the bigger the problem becomes the more you run from the lion the more the lion tries to catch you right so that is the main thing is for us to uh in internally do this process of letting go of any fear thought process or feeling that we may have from other experiences, other circumstances that right now and even then did not serve us, right? So uh, many times we just get attached to these negative experiences, negative thought patterns or feelings because it is not um, or we get attached to those things because we did not consciously um use our judgment we um, took it for granted we took it for reality instead of bringing our own reality forward so that so you you of having of the letting go the letting go process is so intrinsic with you creating your reality that you have to realize that when you let go of a certain thought pattern or feeling, you by default have to bring the thought pattern or feeling that should be in the place of there, in that place, right? Because it's clashing, right? You might be like, I am unworthy or that feeling of unworthiness or and you start to discover the thought patterns of I am not... Uh, I, I can't do this or uh, people don't like to be around me because I'm like this or like that and uh, I'm inherently not not a good person. Any of those, any of those, uh, you, you start to let go of that as you bring up I am worthy and you bring examples and you bring imaginations and feelings of you being worthy, of you being able, of you being appreciated. And you have to uh, complement that which is taken away from your subconscious, right? You take away and you clean your subconscious from uh, certain thought patterns and feelings and behaviors. And you have to bring in your true feeling, your true most expanded and wisest imagination of yourself. You can't be like, uh, because what you, how you create your mind, because what I'm talking about here is you creating your mind, but in specifically you letting go of certain things that 
you created your mind with. I'm unworthy or this is not good or this is not, or in a sense, I'm not good enough or I don't have money or this person is uh, dumb as fuck. While you are projecting that, you, um, you are creating your mind while you are uh, repeating those patterns. You That's how your mind is made out of so you want to make your mind out of thoughts and feelings that are beneficial for you that are good for you that are in alignment with your best state with your most highest vision of yourself what you do what you want to do what you feel like doing or what you want to expand on because we are here in the third dimension to create our mind or to let go of aspects of our mind that do not serve us that's why there is such weird and you know <laughs> uh, correlations between people because uh, the majority of people that are here are still in the process of letting go, are still in the process of uh, discovering through hardship that certain things don't serve them, right? And you have been through that, but that doesn't mean that it's your future. That doesn't mean that it's something that should continue happening because, oh, it happens, so it means that it can happen again. No, you create your reality. And if that happened before, that was something that you had to let go, that you had to realize. And if you didn't, you are now. And if you realize it now, you can let go of it right now instantaneously. It may seem hard because I, I, I want to correlate this with astrology a little bit because we as spirits use the four elements, right? Water, fire, air and earth. Water and fire being the internal side of our of what we do and the external side is air and uh, um, air and uh, earth which is the reality which is the outside and what we can see or what we can make sense out of so when we get attached to a certain memory or to a certain behavior that usually is because we might be um, using too much of the water element of receiving of uh, internalizing and remembering so um Usually people that have more troubles in letting go have some more water alignments going on within them or they like to use as spirits, as unique spirits, they like to use more of the water element at this particular moment in time, right? So, so a good way to balance uh, your water alignments is by being more attentive to reality or you uh, looking on how you want to manifest your reality or how you uh, basically ground yourself into the space that you are that you want to be in instead of uh, continuously looking for what um, happened or how you felt during that time because then you by by us spending too much time in a space or by us spending a lot of uh, time and attention on t or identifying ourselves with something that does not benefit us or does not benefit us is a direct invitation for it to be in our it be instilled in our subconscious mind so make sure that from now on you are constantly Re uh, repeating what you want, repeating and bringing more feeling and good emotions and feelings onto the idea of you being prosperous, of you being fulfilled, of you being uh, accomplished in this world, in your world, in your mentality. And so you build your mind in with the best fruits, with the best juices and nothing can stop you because whatever the reality may say or whatever the your past may have may may have presented to you will not shut down your imagination will not shut down your belief in yourself and the works that you will continuously be and that you continuously do during 
your lifetimes because or during your experiences as a unique spirit because you believe in yourself you have your strong core your strong sense of self and no one can shake it down okay so when you die you go to your mind so make sure that you are creating the mind of a successful and unique interesting um uh interesting imaginative spirit and that you are creating constantly what you desire and not what you are afraid to experience or that which you don't want to experience because um you are going to by you paying too much attention of what you don't like or what you don't enjoy is when you get an attachment right repetition being afraid not knowing something from its real uh, stance or from your real standpoint uh, so you have to really um, inform yourself and pay attention only and give feeling only to what you want to experience and what you deserve and what you like and what you imagine yourself doing okay so hopefully this was not too confusing not too big if you have any questions make sure to uh, uh, write down below in the comments or email me uh, in darikrutsyuk at icloud.com there will be in the description or you can also um, ig me or dm me on ig darikrutsyuk i have my uh, clothing i have my artworks and all uh, types of things going on there so if you want something uh, for your own purposes make sure to check me out there you can see my beautiful sculpture that I'm creating right now this is a disclosure only for y'all this is called change but I'm going to still paint it and all that stuff but it's just looking good it's going to be a very very cool one so make sure to check me out on my IG so you can uh, be updated anytime I post or if you want a commission special for you make sure to DM me or if you have any question make sure to DM me as well thank you so much for watching I wish you enjoy your creativity your individuality may you stay strong as fuck and you don't let nobody get you down because you are the one that is standing okay you are the, the one that should be inner standing overstanding anything you you have to overstand yourself understand yourself before anyone does because if somebody does understand you better than yourself you can get influenced by them a little bit too easy and you don't want that you want to know yourself you want to continue being here uh, not here, but you want to continue being in your individuality, your creativity, so you don't get raptured onto a space without knowing, because when you don't know, you are going to be afraid, okay? So make sure you know, make sure you know what you're going through, and, and you are expressing yourself. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye!